the 14. Down the back straightaway, I think they just have to hug that double yellow line and they'll be able to get back to the finish. But the question is, who's going to win the race? The 88 or the 14 out of the corner, side by side, wreck behind them. It's going to be Tony Stewart. Oh, we'll take that. What a finish. Tony Stewart wins at Daytona in a side-by-side -side finish. Three cars taken out on the final corner. Let's take a look at the replay. Jimmy Johnson gets spun into Joey Logano, but the real show is right here. Tony Stewart wins over Dale Earnhardt Jr. by just a bumper. Looking at the results. The back, here they come to turn number three. What will Larson do with the 22 of Joey Logano? White flag flies this time by. As we close the penultimate lap, here comes the five of Larson all over the back bumper of the number 22. Ha a quarter mile left to go. Here's Larson trying to throw it into turn one. He overdrives it. And if he wants a shot at Logano back in turn number three, he's going to throw the kitchen sink at him from a car length back. Here they come into turn number three. He's up against the wall. Rim riding for the lead, for the win. It's a drag race off turn four to the line. They spin across, and Joey Logano is going to win here at the Miscraft Racing Complex. <laughs> And Larson tried to video game it coming into turn number three, and it does not prevail. Joey Logano wins for the first time since season number five at Gateway, and what a race it was. Here's the final lap right here. Logano trying to hold off the five of Kyle Larson. He was thrown at every which angle. I mean, everything was thrown at him here, and you see the Larson just drive into turn number three, climb the wall a little bit there. He had the advantage on the top side, but then Logano ran it wide, and he slammed that wall Johnson coming out of the pit that exit right there. Coming out of the way. Dale Hart Jr. is leading this race down the back stretch with Trevor Bain in second, Jimmy Johnson in third. Now through the back stretch into turns three and four. Dale Hart Jr. has to hold back Trevor Bain as they go down the front stretch. Into the trouble. There goes Trevor Bain to the outside. Paul Moore to the inside. It's too close. It's a photo finish. We're going to take a look at that. Here's your replay. Let's see who won it. Trevor Bain dives out there, and there goes Paul Menard to the bottom, and I believe it's pretty close, but I think Junior Splitter is over the line. Let's take one more look at it. Yes, Dale Hart Jr. takes the win. Congratulations to Dale Hart Jr. for winning at Talladega for the second time. Some contact already, as there goes Keselowski and Bush out of the groove. That slows up the entire field as now it's a two-car breakaway. Austin, Dillon, and Jeff Gordon, first and second. They take the white flag here. Gordon trying to make the move, but Dillon with the block. Coming down the back stretch, Gordon right on the back bumper of Austin Dillon. Through three and four, he gives him a little nudge. Coming off of turn four, they make contact, and Austin Dillon is going to win at Martinsville. Wow. Jeff Gordon and Austin Dillon were beating in Bain coming around the final two turns, but Austin Dillon's going to be victorious. Now Kyle Larson slips in a second, down the back straight away in turns three and four now. Larson's going to boot the number four out of the way, beating and banging everywhere, coming off the turn number four, white flags in the air, one more time around for Kyle Larson. Harvard's now going to give up that battle on the outside lane, now he's going to fall in line behind the five, down the back straight away, into turns three and four for the final time, can Harvard get it, into three and four, here comes Harvard, he's going to move from the outside lane, he's going to spin the number five, Larson to the wall, Kevin Harvard comes off turn number four, he'll win here at Martinsville and lock himself in to the championship for what a finish here at Martinsville. Kevin Harvick dumps the number five, eliminating the number five of Kyle Larson from championship contention. As Kyle Larson gets spun out by the number four of Kevin Harvick for the win. The number five machine is absolutely crushed on that front bumper. Huge hit for him coming off turn number four. Kyle Larson got oh so close to winning here at Martinsville, but he got dumped by the number four of Kevin Harvick. The ambulance and the tow truck out to him immediately making sure he's all right and to tow his car away. Kyle Larson's championship hope hopes end in a fiery crash as folks now let's take a look at a replay of the final two laps Chase Elliott was leading the restart but Harvick boots him out of the way and Ryan Priest in got took up to the outside lane in tow then Larson's lifted in a second off that restart then Larson's gonna boot Harvick out of the way Harvick probably didn't really like that now they come down to the they took the white flag here as Larson as Harvick did kind of the smart move kind of gave up that uh, battle on the outside lane realizing he's not gonna get anything down the back straight away into three and four Harvick had one shot could not get around the number five and then just had to turn him and spin him out of the way in the number four of Kevin Harvick. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.